wasn't going to make a video today, but I was out walking around. Thought I'd check my old chanterelle spot. This that old oak tree right here. It's a little secret spot that I know of. And uh, thought I'd check and there's some old bumps in the ground. And here's this chanterelle. It's like big old, big old mushroom. And then look at this monster right here. I dug up. <laughs> this thing is gigantic. Look at that. Oh my god. It's perfect. Anyway. I'm sure there's some more around here, but that's good enough for dinner tonight, you know. You didn't have to go to the store. That's like five by five by seven inches. A little hummingbird up there. I don't know a lot about um, hummingbirds, but she's probably a female. She's like a, a grayish color. Hard to see. Sitting up there. Flying around, he was buzzing around my head earlier. She probably has a nest around here that I'm close to. Sorry, I'll go away. I mean, these suckers are so hard to find. You just have to look, look for a kind of a rise in the ground like that. Oh, I don't know if you can. Anyway, kind of broke this one a little bit. I broke a piece off accidentally. This is a big one too. Oh my god. This is massive. California California chanterelle. Golden chanterelle. Look at this guy. as big as my hand. Oh, well, it's two of them. Three of them. Check that out. That is beautiful. Wow. That's a piece of that one. Put them in my little... Put them in my uh, sack. Carry a little... um fishing uh, net. I keep them in there so when I walk around I can drop the uh, spores of any spores to fall off of these things. Wow, that's just amazing. Dinner tonight <laughs> and tomorrow and the next day. And here we are back home. Here's that big gigantic chanterelle mushroom and some of the little smaller, smaller not so big ones. This one kind of fell apart on me. That's a big one. This one is just massive. Let's see. This is like six by six. Six by six. Anyway. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. Oh my god. This is like three meals almost. <laughs> I've got it in this box, so I'm going to let all the spores fall out of them. And then I'm going to reintroduce the spores where I found these things. These are just, just beautiful. I found some wild nettles also, so I'm going to try to grow those in my yard somewhere. I just have them in this jar for right now. I've got to replant them. And I'm going to show you around the yard a little bit. Right here I got some um, mallow. It's all kind of. I found that in a field, so I'm gonna. I planted it right here, and it's gonna probably die on me, but 
eventually it'll come back. Over here is some rosemary we got growing. It's been that was there when I moved in. And down here, this little area. Got a bunch of soap plants growing. There, right here, over there. There's some more over there. More soap plants. Look how noisy it is out here today. That's some of the stuff that's in the yard. We plan to plant some more things. So we're gonna have just wild edibles growing around my house. All right. All right. Cut this chanterelle in half, and you can see it's white on the inside, kind of an off-white, orangey, and then golden on the outside. Looks very good, all cleaned up. So I'm gonna chop that up, fry it in some butter, and enjoy. It does give you um, a little bit of uh, gas in your stomach when you eat it. Like a lot of gas builds up in your stomach. So, you know, just be aware of that. It's a little alarming when you first feel that sensation. But anyway, so delicious. Very tasty. Beautiful chanterelle. Alright, so that's the chanterelle cooking right here and I got some onions in there and uh, some sage some uh, oil and um, some basil put a little bit of basil in there so that's cooking up this is gonna make me a little bloated so to counteract that here to go to counteract that I'm gonna put in some turmeric a little bit of that just a little bit I put in some fennel seeds. Just grind those up a little bit. And just throw that in here. And it's the same color as the fennel almost. I mean, it's the uh, chanterelle. Look at that beautiful golden brown it's turning. It might have been too much butter. <laughs> All right, all right. So here we go. Here's the um, finished product. Put some celery in there to make it look like a sun. But uh, that's dinner tonight.